My name is Neil Malik from NAC Training, and in today's Everyday Office video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can bring in supplemental data to an existing chart or diagram in Microsoft Visio. So in the previous few videos, I've been creating a spreadsheet that then turned around and created this organization chart. If you didn't see those, go ahead and check out the previous videos here. Um, okay, so how am I going to supplement this data? Well, for each of these individual people within my organization, there's the strong possibility that there are a variety of different numbers associated with them. Um, maybe score ratings, maybe um, salaries, could be just about anything. And what I've got is the ability to go back to my original Excel file. And for those of you who've seen me build out the rest of this, you see I've decided to add on to what was normally a four column table and added columns for the number of direct reports that each individual has, what their salary is, and what their evaluation score was in the previous year. And this can be just about anything. It doesn't have to be org charts. It can be uh, related to the number of tasks that have to be completed at each stage in your project. It could be just about anything. So here, what I'm assuming is that I want to be able to take the exact same people that I had before and supplement those people's information with some column of data from the spreadsheet. So I'm just going to make sure the spreadsheet is saved and close it. You can't bring in data if uh, the file is still open. And now here in Visio Professional, I'm going to go to the Data tab at the top of my screen and click on my Quick Import button, top left-hand corner. This allows me to grab Excel data from some sort of spreadsheet someplace. So I'll click Browse here and go off and look for the employee list data. Okay, so here's my employee list data. I click Done, and it identifies the data that I might want to add in. I'll click Done, and you can see here it gives me these little gauges related to the evaluation scores. Not only that, but on the right-hand side, I have a data graphic field panel, and I can decide to add on information about people's salaries and the number of direct reports that they have. So for example here, I might go in, highlight all of the people in the organization, and turn on their salary gauges and turn off their evaluation gauges. And I can see what their salaries are based off of this little horizontal bar. But I can also go to my data graphics panel up at the top, hit the drop down menu here and maybe add in something that tells us that the salary is something or something that tells us that um, we're talking about little pie charts for the salaries or that we're talking about a little star gauges for the evaluation scores. Notice here high evaluation scores, lower evaluation scores. And so there's a lot of ways of presenting this data. I could decide not to include the salary and just include evaluations and now I have little four and five star ratings for all my executives. Or I could turn on direct reports and I could show the number of direct reports as a gauge or as a little person meter here. Uh, so maybe, <laughs> there it is. Let's see, I'll go to direct reports and turn it into a person gauge. There we go. So now I can see there are only a few people who report directly to the CEO, and there's a lot of people who report directly to the VP of sales. And so by bringing in a supplemental spreadsheet that directly relates with <clears throat> the existing data in my org chart, I'm able to add those columns on as little gauges to let me know how things are going, how many people report to them, what their salary is, how their evaluations are going, and this can, again, be any sort of diagram. Pretty cool, huh? 